Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Now you're here if you see me for the first time, go. So where have you been? In this video, I'll be sharing my hair care routine for healthy hair and length retention. Let's start by taking down these old cornrows. I loved this hairstyle for two weeks, but it's now time to go. I like to take down my protective towels with hair butter instead of the typical leave-in plus water combo which most naturals use. This prevents breakage because it keeps my hair stretched. I just apply it all over my hair and start losing carefully from the ends till I get to the scalp I guess. Each one I lose in, I twist it back up to keep it out of the way. Now that I'm done losing my hair, I'll be doing some pre for this wash day using hot oils. But it's actually the same hair butter double boiled to melt as it contains butters and oil cocktail instead of making one from the scratch because I'm not harassment. I just make sure to coat my hair and scalp heavily with the oil. Then when I'm done, I cover it for at least one hour before proceeding to detangle my hair. Some benefits of pre include adding extra moisture to dry hair promoting softer, shinier, or more vibrant hair. It makes detangling much easier and it also boosts the effectiveness of conditioner or any other treatment you put on your hair, resulting in stronger hair and less breakage. I've gone back to reheat the oil because it's stiffening up, it's a border, right? So that's what I mean by putting in hot water until you are done. If you can hear that sound, that's me reheating the oil. I've had this on for about 3 hours now, it's time to detangle, I already made my tea which you see, I have a full video on how to make this tea properly on my channel, I'm going to link it in the description in case you are interested but this is the recipe I've been using for a very long time. For detangling today I'm going to be using this color wow um, pre shampoo detangler. It's not really my first time using this product. I've used it once before but I didn't make a mental note of how my hair felt using it so this is like using it for the first time so yeah but I like to detangle my hair first before shampoo. So imagine having knots and tangled from your old hairstyle, then rubbing shampoo on top of that. It further mats the hair up, making detangling such a hard chore and wash day even longer. I started using this method years ago and honestly, my wash day time has been cut into half so you should definitely try it. I should add that I switch to Kalida Naturals Conditioner for the rest of my hair because the color wow was just too light for my tight curls. The Kalida one is just perfect for my hair texture. This is probably my third bottle. I love that product so much. By applying the conditioner, I finger the tangle as I go before finally going in with my tangle teaser to detangle properly. 
if you have type 3 to 4c hair i highly recommend this brush for detangling i've been using it for two years now and i don't have any plans of going back or switching to the other ones it glides onto the hair easily and detangles so so smooth what else could it type 4 girl want after detangling i go into the shower and rinse off all that conditioner with warm hair with warm water then section my hair into four to make it easier for me to scrub my scalp remember your scalp is also skin just like the other parts of your body so the way you exfoliate your body every other day your scalp also needs that exfoliation as well so i make sure to do this at least once a month this one is from cookies brand yeah cookie from empire we all know her real name or just google it girl it contains sugar crystals apple cider vinegar coconut oil and mint oil the sugar particles melt into the hair as you're scrubbing so don't worry it's not gonna tangle up in there i need to add that it is very very tingly which you all know helps to stimulate blood flow and in turn stimulate new growth however you have to bear in mind that this is tingling for those of you that have very very sensitive scalp so you don't scrub too hard to cleanse my hair i'm using a hydra clarifying shampoo since i just took down a protective star to thoroughly thoroughly cleanse my scalp and hair i use this once a month and other times i have to wash my hair i use a hydrating or moisturizing one so instead of just washing in twists like always i take down the twist shampoo that section thoroughly and twist it again i repeat this till i'm done this is just to make sure i get every part of my hair because it is glossy from the protective style After rinsing off, I dry with this microfiber towel from Floral Curl. I've been using it for years now and I love it so much. I love the way it makes my hair feel. Deep conditioning is a way to nourish your strands back, especially after a protective style. So I'm using this Olori Restorative Max with palm oil as its main ingredient. No proteins, just moisturizing and nourishing ingredients, just the way my hair likes it. I deep condition also in four sections, applying the product generously and finger detangling as I go. I don't use a brush anymore as I've done that before in the video and I usually cover for 15 to 30 minutes depending on what the instruction says before rinsing it off properly. It is very important to follow the formulator's instruction when you're using a particular product because they know how best the product is supposed to function for you. This is the next morning, by the way. Don't mind my camera position, but this is how my hair is looking. It's not moisturized at all. Just water rinsed off, almost dried and everything. Honestly, the deep conditioner that I used was really messy because it's giving palm oil on hair. You guys remember that trend, right? In 2020, everybody was using palm, <laughs> palm oil to do pre poo and it would just leave your hair red and messy throughout the week. That's what it's giving, but this rain stuff quite nice, so I don't have any complaints and my hair feels really soft. I'm about to moisturize right now and my moisturizing routine is now very, very simple. I'm going to be using this as I am leaving conditioner. It's a very new add to my routine, but I actually like it and I see why a lot of people like it. It's just a very basic leaving conditioner that gets the work done, like period. Then I'm going to be following up with this Olori hair butter pomade. Um, I was really looking forward to trying their leave-in conditioner, but they did not send it. So I'm just going to be sealing the moisture with the butter. I'm not doing anything extra. Normally, I put only leave-in, but I'm shooting a collaboration for them. So I have to use their hair butter. But yeah, I'm blow drying my hair and this is the heat protectant I'm going to be using. So that's why my moisturizing routine is very minimal. You can check out my other videos to see my elaborate moisturizing routine. I'm done moisturizing guys. This is how my hair is looking. Now it looks juicy. 
and what not. Time to blow dry. For blow drying, I use the tension method to blow dry my hair. Remember that I have four sections all together, right? So I divided each section into two, making for eight smaller sections. And this just helps to stretch my hair out faster because the smaller the sections, the faster you're able to um, blow dry them and you get more stretch easily. The method I use is the tension method which is just simply stretching my damp hair downwards and just blow drying it using the hot air from the blow dryer to just stretch it out instead of using the chase method but after the first round i comb through my hair with a white tooth comb then go over it again until i get my desired stretch then i twist down the section and repeat till i'm done with my whole hair I actually made some banter knots later in the day and this is going to be my protective style for the next week or two. There's just something so beautiful about banter knot hairstyles. I always get excited to make them and they always look so gorgeous on me. If you want to know how I made this, I already have to, I already have the tutorial up on my channel so you can definitely go check it out. So yeah guys, this is basically my hair routine right now and how I rotate it for healthy hair and also retaining some length as someone that manipulates her hair often. I hope this video was helpful to you and your hair and if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe for more and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!